that's it. You've won a plated turd. Yeah, I would just do whatever I could to, to try and win. Perhaps he just doesn't have the race. It's like he's with back, no. He's got two corners to go. He's hand 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 this point now, only mistake is going to stop it. <laughs> The film is about the world of remote control car racing. It's kind of a hidden secret, this sport. It's actually hugely popular worldwide, but it kind of kind of exists under the radar. So I thought it looked really interesting, decided to make a documentary about it. And the documentary is really kind of getting inside the world of remote control car racing to see what it's about, who does it, why do they do it, you know. And um, we do that by, um, following three racers in particular over a series of race meets in, in the southeast of England, which is called the King of Clubs. Um, well, I'm a sports fanatic, as I you know, said earlier. I mean, I'm crazy about sport. I'm fascinated in the world of sport and who does sports, why they do it. I just decided when I started the company that I wanted to kind of focus on that area. Um, um, but I'm interested in doing anything to do with sports. So, you know, whilst uh, drama and documentaries is the main thing, um, I've got a podcast on the go that potentially is going to be made, a radio play, different things, theatre as well. I'm interested in doing anything. But I think in the end, you know, you've got to, do the kind of work that inspires you, and I'm inspired by sports. I just want to kind of be there, trying to make um, interesting, well, tell interesting stories. Precisely engineered racing, exotic racing machines. They're not toys, they're uh, carbon fiber, alley, titanium. You speak to F1 race engineers and they say that they look at these cars with fascination. They understand we can do more in our setup with these cars than, than they can in the pits at, at, at a Formula One race. The science of the sport is, is really important. And I think that, you know, yeah, you know, we want to create better scientists, better engineers in this country. And this sport is a really good way into that. And obviously, you know, the great thing about a sport like this is when you see the kids doing it, they're really enjoying it. So it's not like work. So, you know, you're learning about aspects of science and engineering and everything in a fun, competitive environment. And, you know, what more could you ask for than that? And, you know, I hope that with documentaries like King of Clubs, if thing, you know, that I hope that helps promote the sport and get more people in it you know and uh, and that obviously that's that's really really important because it's a sport you can do at any age what's great about it too is you see you know fathers and sons out there fathers and daughters you know hopefully mothers and daughters would do it it's an all-inclusive sport and you need you know the more kids that do it the better it is in terms of you know you know engineering and you know I mean it's yeah it's, it's a hidden secret and um, I think the sport needs as much publicity as it can get. One key element was to make the, the cars look great and we wanted it, them to have the feel of kind of, although they're small little cars, they're this size, we wanted to have it, have the thing have a kind of epic feel, you know. So, well, I've got to pay full credit there to Pete Hayes, who's the DOP on it and the editor. And in actual fact, the documentary, it was him who approached me with the idea. And it's not like this is a mega budget production where we can throw all kinds of money at it to, to you know, film that kind of stuff with the, you know, highest tech out there. But um, so um, we had to be creative and careful about how we did it. And then another key element actually in that is actually when it goes into the grade because we had all kinds of different camera work. It all looked very different and um, Faith Millen, who's a colourist on the film, did a fantastic job kind of matching it all up so that hopefully it kind of looks very fluid. There's a big kind of RC community out there and um, 
we decided to release it online for a limited period only. So it'll be released for, I think, two to four weeks. Then we'll kind of close that release, have a look at the numbers um, and how that's gone. And Touchwood, thankfully, it's gone really well so far. I'm absolutely delighted with how it's gone um, to date. Then we'll kind of have a look. Have a, I'll have a think about all of that and then decide what to do next. But obviously, yeah, I just want as many people to see it as possible.